welcome to today to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the Florida wildlife down here in Naples. First up, we have the rattlesnake. They are very high in venom and have a tendency, and they will bite you if you're up in their territory. And the only reason they bite you is if you're too close to them, or they are, or they're trying to protect their babies. And I would just recommend staying out of their territory, and if you are ever to see one, don't run away, and always back away slowly, let an adult know, and absolutely never try and play with one. They will bite you. Next up, we have the Florida Black Racer. They have no venom, they have a strong bite, they're black, and they're very fast. If you ever get bit by one, it's still, you should still tell an adult, and if there's two bite marks, if there's two bite marks like this right there, um, that means they were fangs that bit you, but if there's multiple bite marks around the arm, or wherever you got bit, like when like when your brother or sister bites you, it'll have a circle like that with little teeth marks. But I would still recommend telling an adult. And like I said, their bites are strong, but they do they hurt, but it only takes a little while for it to slow down. Next up we have the v the chameleon. Um, these are invasives, and people have been getting them, and when they start to get too big, they will release them into the wild, not knowing that they are invasives. So, if you are ever to see a chameleon in the wild, um, it's best to take, to just leave it alone, and let it do its thing. Um, don't try and get one from the wild. I would always recommend going to a pet store to get one. Here's the con, they are very expensive. And they are not venomous, they have these tongues that shoot across and grab their prey. And like I said, not venomous, they're, um, when you first get them they're a little grumpy and they will bite you, but no venom, and they eat crickets. Uh, wax worms, meal worms, and sometimes some little spinach leaves and stuff. They'll also eat lettuce. Next up we have the banana spider. Um, they do not have venom, but their bites are strong and will have a little pain. If you are ever to be bit by a spider, I'd recommend telling an adult and having them check it out. And, um, like some people do, take a pen, pen, draw a circle around the wound, and if the redness gets outside of the circle, then I would definitely recommend taking, um, going to a doctor's to have them check it out. 